In this video we'll discuss feature definitions for service templates. These feature definitions are unique from others in the fact that they do not define the symbology of elements that are drawn. The symbology for surface templates come from the template library. If I open up a template here and go to surface templates and choose this first one here for asphalt pavement, basically when we apply a surface template it's going to take the depth and material from each layer of this pavement and apply it to a terrain in the file. So the symbology is coming from the template library. The feature definitions only determine whether the linear element from those points are drawn into the model. So if I go to explore here, I'm in open road standards, I've got my feature definitions expanded, I've got surface templates expanded, and I've got two options here. If I choose the first one, disable linear features, you notice I get the standard settings for all feature definitions, a name, a description, a name seed, whether I want item types applied or not, and then we have one other property that's unique to these, and that's if a 3D linear feature is displayed in the model or not. If it's set to false, then it will not draw another layer or another 3D linear element for every layer in the template that gets applied to this terrain. If it is enabled, if that is set to true, then it would draw a 3D element for each layer from the template. Let's see, if I go in model detailing, apply surface template, notice I've got disable linear features selected. I'll go in and choose the first one, data point to accept, and that places that one. I'll go back here, place the same template with enable features selected. And then if I go in and turn my meshes off, the only difference is whether each layer of that template is applied. This completes the video on feature definitions for service templates.